Okay, when you give the high five, go there, okay? I'll give the corner. I would like to introduce my good friend Narayan Sajid. <coughs> He goes, he goes to seventh grade at the School Academy for Science and Design. He likes biking, playing the violin, and most importantly, eating. Give it up for Narayan. <clears throat> Hello everyone. My name is Narayan Saji and I'm in seventh grade at the School Academy for Science and Design. Thank you, Abhishek, for speaking. That was a very nice speech of yours. How was everyone's day so far? Great. That's great to hear. So today, I'll be talking about Homer. Homer, I'm sure we've all experienced it before. I know, I certainly have. If you ever have a late night argument with your parents about not finishing homework on time, you probably know how homework can be a strain. In an effort to relieve that strain, many schools now are actually banning the use of homework. It is a very strict subject. Some encourage it and believe it will help everyone in their academic career. Others detest it and declare its worthlessness. Today, I'll be talking about what I think defines a good amount of homework, some of the research done on homework, and some of the pros and cons of assigning homework. By the way, do any of you know what homework truly stands for? Half of my energy wasted on random knowledge. Now you know. Yes. So I'll start off by talking about what I think defines a good amount of homework. From my perspective, a student may only have a small amount of time to actually do their homework. Many times, students have extracurricular activities to attend after school, and they can get back late. Since they don't have a lot of time, they can easily be stressed, like I was in sixth grade. Occasionally, I have a test, project, or an essay in every single subject. Add it to my out-of-school classes, and you get the recipe for stressing me out. In my opinion, I think that teachers should take into account such factors before assigning homework. At my school, ASD, I think that my teachers probably assign a little bit more homework than what is actually necessary. To summarize, assigning homework is a delicate balance. For me, the right amount of homework thoroughly reviews the lesson, nothing more, nothing less. If someone does the right amount of homework, they should understand the majority of the lesson, and most importantly, they should not feel like they've been assigned a mountain of homework to do. If you give too much homework to a student, either they don't finish it all, or they don't put all their effort into it, or they just get stressed. On the other hand, not assigning enough homework is not very good either. Students may forget the lesson without the help of homework to refresh the concept in their mind. From my perspective, assigning homework is like prescribing medicine. If the patient doesn't take anything, they won't get anything out of it. But if they take too much, they'll get harmful results and end up worse than when they started. Homework is a powerful tool, but only if used properly and in the right amount. So the next thing I'll be talking to you about is some of the research done on homework. Recently, a comparative study of kids in China, Japan, and two US cities found that there appears to be no correlation between homework time and a student's academic achievement. Also, students in Italy, who are ranked relatively low by the 2014 Pearson Review, do more than eight, uh, eight hours of homework in a week, while students in South Korea who are ranked number one in the world by the for, uh, 2014 Pearson Review, do less than uh, two hours of homework in a week. On the other hand, data from Duke University psychologist Harris Cooper found that there appears to be a co positive correlation between homework time and a student's academic achievement. According to his data, the correlation seemed to be strongest in grades above seven. However, all this data is not enough to settle the argument. Is homework helping students or high achievers just doing more homework? That is a question people are still arguing today. So the last and final thing I'll be talking to you about is some of the pros and cons of assigning homework. I'll start off with the pros. First of all, homework teaches students time management. The amount of homework they give in my school is just enormous. And some days I only have a few hours to actually do it. So I learned to split apart my homework into different parts and do them based on importance. 
This brings me to my second point. Homework teaches students how to prioritize. Some assignments are clearly more important than others, so do those first and finish off the easier, simpler ones last. Probably the most important, most important benefit of all is that homework helps students refresh the concept that was taught in class. Without homework, students may forget the lesson, and then the following day, the teacher has to teach the same thing again. Homework also teaches students that sometimes you're just going to have to do things. Well, I, I know that when I was a child, I never listened to anybody. But when I discovered homework, I realized that there are just some things you just have to do. You have to do something even if you really, really don't want to. The last and final benefit of assigning homework is that it teaches students independent problem-solving skills. Not all is going to have someone next to you, and sometimes you're going to have to do things all by yourself. So now I'll be talking about some of the cons of assigning homework. First of all, homework is tiring. Students just came back from a six hour long day, but even after that, there's more work to be done. Their workload is not complete. Also, homework takes time out of a student's day. If a student has a lot of homework, they might not be able to do the things that they enjoy. Now, a student may enjoy watching YouTube or playing video games, but, student, uh, but homework also takes time away from creative activities like drawing, singing, or playing a new instrument. If a student ends up with a lot of homework, they may just end up in the room just doing homework. Can you imagine how dull that must be? <coughs> also, homework can encourage cheating on many different levels. First of all, students may look up the answers to not bring their homework home. Or in families with multiple children, students may copy off one another to reduce the actual time being spent on homework. To summarize, today I talked about what I think defines a good amount of homework, some of the research done on homework, and some of the pros and cons of assigning homework. So wherever the homework debate goes next, what's on the back burner on the front page, it's worth it to examine if you're asking the right question about your education. The good thing is, it's never too late to start. Thank you for listening. Good job.